Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we talked about SSL TLS and uh, how it works in theory. Today, we're gonna put that to actual practical use and uh, we're gonna get a proper Let's Encrypt certificate for free. And uh, we're going to install it onto our Nginx server to make it secure. So this is what we're gonna do today. First, we're gonna configure a simple website using Nginx. Then we are going to get Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. And uh, you know, we're gonna configure Nginx to use SSL. And then we're going to set up an HTTP to HTTPS redirection. And finally, we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to set up a redirect from www to non www version of the website. So these are the requirements uh, for this video. One is that we need a domain. Sorry, one is that we need a server that can be accessed from the internet. And uh, then we're going to need a real domain pointing to our you know, web server. So in this case, I'm going to use this domain, ssl.esc.sh. And I'm going to use www.ssl.esc.sh just to mimic the www part like you know if you have a website like google.com then there is another version of the same website with www.google.com right so for that and i have a digitalocean server here so i have already logged into the server if i do curl you can see that this is the ip address so first of all let's go ahead and point our domain to the a server IP address. So I am at the DNS control panel. I'm using Cloudflare for DNS. So I'm just going to add an entry here. That would be ssl.esch and it should point to this IP address. And uh, I'm not going to use uh, you know Cloudflare proxy, just DNS only. All right. I'll also add the www version of that. All right, let's verify that the domains are uh, the DNS entries are propagated. It is. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create the you know, symbol HTTP Nginx configuration for the website. So I'm going to create etc Nginx sites enabled ssl.esc.sh. We have done this several times, so I'm not going to explain much. Server name would be and the WW version of the same. And the index, of course. All right, let's do sudo nginx dash t. Yeah, that looks good. sudo system ctl reload nginx. All right, but we did not make the document root. Or www.ssl.esc.sh and I'm going to create a symbol uh, index.html. All right, let's go ahead and open it. And we have our website loaded. And as you can see, it says not secure. All right. So the next step would be to get the SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt. For that, we need to install a package. So I have the instructions written in this GitHub repository. Uh, I'll link the same. So I'm just going to use this. So basically what we need to do is we need to install two packages, certbot and a Python 3 uh, certbot nginx. So certbot is the package that will let us fetch certificates from Let's Encrypt and uh, this is an nginx module that will you know modify the nginx configuration for us just gonna copy that okay i think my dpkg is kind of messed up you probably would not have to do this but i'm just gonna show you anyway uh, when something like this happens so something is wrong with this package i'm just gonna try to reinstall it Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I think my server is kind of running out of memory. So this is a development server and I have a lot of stuff running. So I'm just going to stop MySQL in it. Um, the reason why I'm saying is because it says it says fatal fail to fork. This usually happens when the server runs out of memory. You can see it's almost full and uh, it's mostly taken by MySQL. 
So I just stopped MySQL and uh, let's install it again. And as you can see, it was able to finish the installation. And uh, let's get back to our cert board installation. All right. So that's already installed. Good. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new file called uh, etc nginx snippets let's ungrip.conf with the content this. So I'm just going to open this file etc nginx snippets let's ungrip.conf and I'm going to paste this. So what we're doing is we're creating a new nginx configuration that is saying if the location matches this path then set the document root as this one. So I'm just going to create that sudo mkdir-p Alright, so the next step is to fetch the certificate. Certbot dash dash nginx. Here we are telling the certbot we would like to use the nginx module to configure the nginx configuration automatically. So remember, the nginx configuration now looks like this. This is it. So we're doing sudo certbot dash dash nginx dash d then the domain itself which is sl.esc.sh and then another dash d because we have one more subdomain that is www.ssl.esc.sh all right it's waiting for the verification and that's it see as you can see it says deploying certificate to virtual host this one so this is done by this dash dash nginx this nginx module this nginx module for certbot lets us do this also here it says please choose whether or not to redirect http to https we're gonna do that later so i'm just gonna give option number one you can actually give option number two and be done with it but i would like to take a moment to show how actually it is done so i'm just gonna use option number one okay nginx sites enabled ssl.esc.sh as you can see these are the entries added by certbot which is indicated by the command managed by certbot. So what are the entries here? The first one is listen 443 SSL, which tells Nginx to listen on port number 443 and SSL should be turned on. And here is the certificate, which is in this path. So when you fetch a certificate from Let's Encrypt, it stores in this location, etc, Let's Encrypt, live, and then the domain name, then fullchain.pm is the certificate and uh, private key.pm is the private key all right so let's just reload nginx if we go to https then you can see that the ssl is active you can see the certificate here and it says it is valid from today to three months from now so by default the certificates are valid only for three months the next step that we need to do is we need to configure HTTP to redirect HTTPS. Here I'm doing curl dash i. I means to simply show the headers and not the content of the response. So here it just says 200 OK, but we want this HTTP version redirected to HTTPS. So that's what we're going to do next. So if you notice here, you can see that in this case, both this listen 80 and 443 are on the same server block. But what we're going to do is we're going to just read, you know, uh, have a separate server block for list port number 80 and uh, port number 443. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new server block server listen on port number 80 and the server name should be the same and then for all the requests coming there so the location slash we're going to do a return 301 https dollar host dollar request URI close the brace close the server block so what does this mean it means for any request coming to coming to this port number 80 for this server name redirect it to the https version of the same website dollar host means whatever the host header was it could either be this or this and then dollar request uri means whatever the url that was coming with the request which i will show you in a moment but now here we have two server blocks but this one is also listening on port number of you know 80 so it's not going to work so just delete that and uh, just to keep things cleaner i'm just going to move 
I'm just gonna move this one 22 to 26D. Alright, so alright, so that's pretty much it. I think hopefully we did not make any mistakes. Let's do sudo nginx dash t and yeah that looks fine and we reload our nginx. So what happens if you do a curl again? Ah, so this time instead of a 200 we got a 301 moved permanently and it shows the location here that is https of the same website. So if I do you can see the same request has been rewritten to the https version with the same uri. So this is what that request uri means. So if you go to the http version of the website we should be redirected to the https. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to redirect the www to non www. Again back to the nginx configuration. So I have given all the possible combinations of this redirection in this document. So this is the case we have. So what we have to do is we have to make the changes in both the blocks because you could have an HTTP request coming to port number 80 for you know the www part of the website or you could have an HTTPS request coming to port number 443. In both cases we would, we would want to redirect it back to the non-ww part. So what we have to do is we have to change this host part here to actually hard code the, the, the name that we prefer which is ssl.esc.sh. So this way it will not get redirected back to the ww version. And uh, here you know we have a single server block for both the server names. But we have to change that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna copy the whole server block so if you are using vim you can copy the whole thing by pressing shift v and then use the arrow keys to uh you know copy the whole thing and then press y which will copy the whole thing and then you just paste it using p so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the non-ww part from here so this will be applicable only to the request coming to this www.ssl.esc.sh and we're gonna copy the same thing thing that we did here so i just copied using yy and paste it here delete this one actually we don't need these two things here because this is just a redirect and uh, yeah here we don't need this www part that's it. Reload Nginx. And if you do curl again, you can see that it redirected the www version to non www version. So, yeah, that's it. So, to renew all the let's encrypt domains in the server, you simply do search bot, then renew. This will go ahead and look at all the domains, all the let's encrypt domains in the server and renew them, uh, you know, if they are due to expire soon. But as I said before, for this renewal to work properly, let's say let's encrypt should be able to make a request to the this location. And for that, we have created this snippet, but we haven't included that anywhere, which we need to include on the port number 80 part of the same. So I'm gonna edit the file again and copy this path and come here. Include. Okay. So what this means is for any request coming to the port number 80 that matches that dot well known path it will not get redirected instead it will have a root set like this and then it should be able to finish the challenge all right so the next thing that we need to do is we need to edit our cron tab you do that using cron tab dash e a sudo cron tab dash e if this is the first time that you are opening the cron then this is going to ask you to choose an editor. You can choose whichever you like. I'm just going to use Vim for now. And I already have a cron entry um, added for the uh, search board here. So I have two cron entries here. First one is to renew and the second one is to reload nginx. So what this means is this will run every month 2.30 in the morning. That is once every month on 2.30 am uh, the server will run the search board renew command and after 5 minutes to 35 am it will reload nginx 
so that way we will have our certificates renewed every once in a month remember let's encrypt certificates have a validity of 90 days but uh, we are removing uh, we are renewing them well before that we don't want to have our certificate accidentally expired right so that's pretty much it for this video see you in the next one